For me, I like fragrances that tell a story. I want fragrances that take me to another world. Like I don't want to just smell rich. I want to feel feelings. I just don't want to feel money. Hey guys, welcome to The Nose Nose. It's Daniel. Thanks so much for tuning in. First and foremost, I have a contest. We're doing a giveaway of a fragrance uh, that was in my top five picks for summer. If you haven't seen the video, go ahead and check it out. It is the Bulgari Blue Porom. This is a really nice deluxe sample and it is even in the shape of the real size bottle. I'm gonna pull a name out of the hat and then I will send this off to you. <laughs> you can hardly read it. Duplo Massetti. Congrats, man. You won the fragrance. All right. So we are reviewing the last of the Clive Christian originals. Today we're talking about X. I put on X a couple hours ago. It is still there though it's light. I don't think the projection's really far. Like it's close to my skin. I can still smell it. The bottle's really cool by the way. The crown on top, the Clive Christian x in, the shield in the front. It's, it's the real deal there. Um, notes in this guy. Hold on, I gotta pull up. I have like information on my phone. Oh man. Oh, I feel like I can show this now that they're actually out. This is the Creed, the new Creed bottles. These are the 100 mLs, the pictures of them. I did my video about about Creed and everyone, people were doubting. People were like, you are misinformed. Uh, this is cool too. This is a, a really cool ad of Anteus from the 80s, from Chanel, which Anteus is really really intense chanel fragrance for guys really sexy like get it on scent <music> swear to god so anyway <laughs> clive christian this scent spicy woody fragrance there's bergamot spices cardamom ginger juniper berry that's the top heart notes are sambac oil jasmine hedione pimento oil and orris Base notes are amber, vetiver, oil, cedarwood, moss, cinnamon, and vanilla. When I sprayed it, it had like a burst. I caught the cinnamon, I caught the spice, the cardamom. All of these Hive Christian scents have their own sort of feel to them. Closest um, similar nose feel of the Clive Christians would be like Tom Ford. Like they're very dense. They stay kind of close to the skin. It's been about five and a half, six hours that I've had this on. But honestly, guys, this is just my opinion. I'm not blown away by it. And really I'm not like, wow, this fragrance is so great. It's been around for a while. You know, this line is marketed as the world's most expensive perfume. For me now as a millennial in 2017, like it smells rich. I mean, it definitely smells elegant. If I'm going to spend money on a fragrance, I would get Aventus, Sycamore from Chanel, Baccarat. There's just a lot of other things I would get, you know, if I'm going to get a fragrance that is like above $200. My favorite about this collection, absolutely 1872. Really like that one a lot. And the, again, I have to say, I, I like must say because, you know, I work at a store, so I don't want to like give a, a bad, there's nothing wrong with these fragrances. They're actually really well crafted, but me, I like fragrances that tell a story and I want the world to be interesting and these just smell like I'm rich. Like I don't want to just smell rich. I want to feel feelings. I just don't want to feel money. It's all right. As a collector, I'm glad I have them. I definitely will probably wear them, especially 1872, but I'll definitely put the other ones on from time to time, but yeah. Well, well done, but boring. That's my review. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna go on. Congratulations to Puma Seti. You won the blue. Great fragrance. Keep your eyes out because I'm gonna be doing my high-end top five list in the next couple weeks. Different fragrances and I promise Aventus isn't gonna be on there. And I'm so sick of talking about it, it's amazing, but I'm sick of talking about it, it's not gonna be on the list. That's it, see you next time.